Guys, okay, so, a couple things first. Number one, I finally finished this. I finally got time to sit down and do this recording after probably about three times of unsuccessful attempts. Hey. Is yours? Yeah. Did you see the curtains in the dining room? No. Okay, guys, anyways... now like literally ever since okay so as you guys can tell there was just a, uh, a cut like a little jump cut in the video yeah that jump cut was about a few days long um, but you guys were able to see and witness the types of like interruptions that I'm talking about um, <clears throat> better yet now within that like two day span I have some kind of like freaking viral infection with my lungs or whatever i don't know what it is like listen listen to this listen to me breathe okay <sighs> you hear that <sighs> yeah doesn't sound good so it messes with my voice so that's that's even that's freaking great we love that um and then also i had work and then i've had freaking homework and then the other things my friends coming over which i don't i'm not complaining about that but i'm just saying that kind of prevents me from making videos most of the time and then like my parents coming in and like there being too much noise literally it's about to be midnight right now it's wednesday it's about to be midnight i got school tomorrow and <clears throat> i had to wait this long today i was off of work today but i had to wait this long because all day there was just noise in the house and like i have a certain standard for my videos and i really just do not like background noise like i feel like it's a i don't know i feel like it's just kind of something i should steer away of just for the fact like the sake of the quality of the video but anyways let's getting straight to the point i'm gonna split this up into into two videos because as of right now uh this house is pretty big like man it, to me it looks fairly big from the outside like come on now it looks pretty big but <clears throat> just the the way it's designed it's gonna take a while to uh to build and i'm not really trying to stay up for a whole like hour and a half right now because i still gotta get undressed finish my homework take a shower you know brush my teeth all that stuff and i'm not trying to go to bed at like freaking tomorrow so i'm gonna split this up into like two videos i'm gonna kind of have to do like math on the top of my head while i'm doing this to kind of calculate where a good stopping point about halfway would be but yeah so that's pretty much all i gotta say so let's get into this um so i'll just do one more fly around uh, it's it's pretty cool this all came straight out of my head it, it's like it was a really big like concept idea like believe me if, if you guys could see the process it looked nothing similar to this as I was starting like it was yeah so anyways so let's just go ahead and take a walk in see so you have like a nice courtyard walking in boom big grand opening I wanted to keep the center of the house like kind of open so you could see like all the different parts but yeah so back to this so you come in you see a painting in the hole open inside of the house and the giant skylight so we'll do like the bottom floor first and then start working our way up so first thing you have like a fairly decent sized kitchen i mean in minecraft you don't really need a kitchen like let's be honest guys you really don't need this but like it's i was going to include it obviously per request but um what are you doing Anyways, um, to the right, yep. Is there a fire somewhere? Oh yeah, I forgot that's that. Alright, anyways, okay. So to the right over here, you have a full enchantment room, or, um, if you're not really gonna use enchanting, you can quote-unquote have a, um, a library in your house. And if you're on a server where you can sit in quote-unquote chairs, um, there's like a little table design right here little water structure it's pretty nice over here you got a full living room 
um, yes, I know it's two different paintings. Let's just pretend that it's one. It's just the news and like that's the, the news anchor and this is the video clip or whatever that they're showing. Anyways, um, it's a pretty simplistic living room. I didn't really have like any major grand idea, but so I just kind of, you know, put in what I would consider a nice living room in real life. And then coming out the door here, <clears throat> Sorry, I'm gonna have to do that a lot because my, my throat's messed up. But <clears throat> so this right here, this kind of like glass door, how it's open, don't worry. Um, the way I designed the backyard, nothing can get in, like spiders and stuff. Nothing will spawn back here because there's light. So don't be afraid that this is just wide open. Anyways, coming out here, you got a nice big pool, diving board, little back table. And then if you come down, some chest storage or whatever you want here, and come down again, you got a little, uh, fire pit and like a window to the inside of the pool so it's really cool um so coming back through you're you're pretty fast um over here you got a apparently a garage but like there's no cars in minecraft obviously if you've played minecraft for more than five seconds you would know that so i just kind of made it like a multi-purpose room with just a bunch of storage and uh so yeah it's pretty much the first floor so moving up you have this really cool window design here i like this a lot you can kind of like come around the corner and like almost have like a 180 view but uh come up the stairs room there's a room right there and then this is kind of like also a multi-purpose room there's so many windows and stuff i didn't know if i should make it into a bedroom or not which you so like i just kind of left it empty so you guys can do whatever you want with it i would make it kind of just like a lounge because you can see the courtyard so it's it's nice for views um, and you have another room right here. We have this open balcony. Nothing can get up here either. By the way, it's designed spiders and stuff can't get up here. Um, room, another room right here, another room right there. I'll go into these in depth in just a second. And then out here you got your top deck with like a grass structure and two chairs. You can overlook the backyard and like see the rest of the blank, just nothingness world. Um, so let's start from the first room. So I designed each room differently. Um, <clears throat> so this room is designed more towards like the, uh, person that likes, um, confinement a little better. It's more of like the smaller side and it's, it's more compact, you know, while it still is like nice and has a nice view and all that. So there's that room. And then obviously this room, you can make it a bedroom if you want. Um, and this bedroom is more of like the, uh, I guess intro, oh more of like the introverted kind of thing. As you can see, it's kind of dark. This turns on by itself, by the way. All the redstone lamps you see um, have sensors on them, so when it gets dark outside, they automatically turn on. Um, anyways, so this one is, like I said, kind of for the introverted person that's like more muted, I guess, which this would be kind of my style. I like the big window and then like the desk and the, you know, the bed area. It's pretty simplistic, I like it. And um, yeah, it's pretty much, pretty much it. You have a really nice view, by the way. This is. I like the view a lot and then so coming over here this room is more for like the open person as you can see you have just a lot of walking space nice let me just yeah okay like I said this is you have a lot of walking space really open you have a big giant window um, you can see the backyard so it's pretty cool but if you build this like on a mountain or something like in a nice spot you're this is probably the best room to be honest you have a view of like the whole thing this room and that room over there that one has a big wraparound window but you got windows to the inside of the house just like the room over there and it's pretty open it's pretty nice so uh there we go that's that for that room and then over here you can go back out to the balcony so yeah it's it's pretty cool um so per request there is one two and three rooms technically four because you can just slap a door on this and like um, you don't have to put a window on this. I put a window because from the outside it looks really cool, but this could be blank and you could have your beds up against here and like, you know, a, a double chest, like two double chests stacked up on each other over here. And then, boom, there you go, carpet in the middle and yeah, you're, you're set. So this could be a bedroom easily, um, but it's blank, so you can make whatever you want. So there is at least three bedrooms and then another one if you want it to be. You have a living room, a kitchen, a giant storage room, a backyard with just like miscellaneous stuff that you don't even need really, but it's just there for like decoration and it just, it feels nice to have a house with a lot of stuff. And then you also have a library slash full enchanting room. So, and then also the kitchen doubles as a brewing room. So you have like the cauldrons and stuff. Then you have two balconies 
and you have a big giant skylight so like at night okay let me let me change this really quick at night it looks really nice see all the stars and stuff um there we go yeah so at night as you can see all the lights turn on and the house is very well lit and it's really nice and cozy feeling you know you have that modern touch and i did use mostly stone as you can see and the andesite is kind of like a stone branch off material but um yeah so at night you can see all the stars and everything especially if you use uh cuda shaders because cuda shaders is very nice with the stars at night i think i'll do legacy yeah see the stars are like a lot more realistic i ew what is wrong with the glass panes what that's disgusting all right we're changing this this one there we go that's a little better yeah that's a little better and then yeah all right anyways let's go ahead and get into the build let me fix my shaders um there we go that's nice all right <coughs> excuse me so i'm gonna go ahead and fix the time and we can go ahead and whoa that was glitchy we can go ahead and get straight into oh my god bro let's just go ahead and get straight into this build okay guys so before we start this first step right here i actually want to take a step back to uh the, uh, the original house right here so i updated my optifine to the one 1.13 like the right nice okay there we go guys so anyways Updated my Optifine to the, the new Minecraft update, and I guess they updated what Diorite looks like, and I actually think it looks better. So this is the new Diorite texture. Um, well, this is um, well, this is the new um, the new texture pack or the resource pack that I use. It's the new updated version. Um, it's uh, what? Why can I think of this on the spot? I literally just got it like yesterday. Um. Oh yeah, it's uh, Faithful, the 32-bit version, not the 64, 32-bit. So, <clears throat> Faithful 32-bit got the update for the new um, for the new Minecraft update, the 1.13, you know? And um, that's pretty much the only difference that made how I made the house look. Um, ooh, that looks nice for the floor, so let's take a look on the inside. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good, guys. Honestly, I think it looks better. Anything else change? Everything looks the same. Iron doors are all like, yep, everything's good. It looks nice. Well, there we go. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that because I, I logged, I got back on this world um, and I was I spawned right here. I instantly noticed that. I was like, ooh, okay. All right. Anyways, first step. So we're going to start with like the big obvious structures you know like the big white pillars and then we're just gonna advance from there so to get this white pillar right here from the uh little square or rectangle that i built and if you want to go ahead and make this for yourself you can just pause right here don't mind the uh the bat oh it's gone never mind all right <clears throat> but yeah so you can pause right there and just see how you know the measures of this this is 24 by 41 Yes, 24 by 41. And uh, so yeah, first step, you wanna come out 15 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So on this one right here, you wanna come out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then starting on this block right here, take your white concrete and build two by two, just like that. So if you want to, uh, here, I'll, uh, I'll fix this really quick change this to the white so you can actually uh, count the spaces there we go so yeah if you want to check that out you can pause that so you get a better reference yeah so there we go and then from that in like including this first level you want to go up 11 total so one two three four five and six seven eight nine ten and 11 all right now the next step is a little bit more complicated than that so i'm gonna go ahead and kind of build it really quick and then i'll describe it to you guys using the red and white wool so i will be right back all right guys so here we are with the next step and now as you can see i've expanded it out so the uh the step that we're going to do here is once you had your pillar just this single pillar right here 
you're gonna come out by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen blocks. And that will be the end of the pillar right here. So as you can see, a two by two pillar. So 19 will be the last block. And once you build this two by two pillar, it will come all the way down to the ground. And then you'll just carry it out, you know, two by two, like pillar that goes all the way across. And then, are you serious? Okay, there we go. No more rain. All right, anyway, so once you get that, you wanna come out eight blocks, I believe, if I count this correctly. So from the pillar, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, right here. So on the eighth block, you will place one and two blocks right here, so one, two. And obviously it'll be too wide also. So once again, from this, from the end of this pillar, so right here you count, you know, until eight. And once you get to eight, you put one and two on. So on the ninth block is where it's, it, where it is. It's, so then you come out one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and that will be the end of the pillar. And then you bring that all the way down, just like you did on that one. So now I will go ahead and get the red and blue wool. And by the way, I used red and blue this time instead of red and white, because if I put white down, it just, it blends in with the white concrete so I'm trying to make it easier for you guys so i'll go ahead and map out the next step again and i'll show you guys how to do it all right guys so here we go next step is this second pillar right here is uh formed by once you get to the end of your you know like your first kind of like upside down u-shaped pillar formation the very end you're going to want to count over one two three four five six seven eight and nine blocks and that will put you on the top right block of this pillar. So once you get, you know, nine out, you're gonna want, like, I'll just do this. You wanna put one, two, three, and four, and then take this two by two pillar all the way down. And then once you get that done, if you come back up here, it's only gonna be two by two wide for two blocks. So where the pillar starts right here, two blocks out, make it, you know, like two by two wide, and then just make it, uh, two by one and then it take it all the way down to the start of that pillar right there So as you can see they, they line up perfectly just like that Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and map out the very next step and I will be right back for you guys All right guys, so here we go before I say anything I can I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys just pause for a second and look at this So this is going to be the next step. This is we're gonna start on like the stonework because um, like requested the majority of the house is stone materials either stone or diorite So uh, yeah, so this is like the first big step in all the stone work So I you know just let you guys pause for a second and look at the dimensions of this All right, so now I'm gonna come down and we can look at this so I'm gonna go ahead and actually uh, Take the wool off really quick because it'll be a lot easier to like let you guys see it um, So yeah, I'll be right back all right guys so here we go now so first step is <clears throat> remember how i said um went from this pillar you come out two blocks and then from here it's only two by one wide so it's like two by one wide that's because this is where the stone starts so from the right side of the pillar the stone's going to come out by one two three and four on the left side it's going to come out by just one so then technically um so uh um, sorry i kind of had like a, a brain fart right there so in total across the entire way is seven blocks of stone uh but yeah so anyways seven blocks across and then you're gonna want to take it all the way down to the end of this pillar and then come out by one two three four five six seven and eight more blocks so you wind up right along the line of the uh, the red and white wool once you get to the eighth block take it down by one and bring that so starting right here one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten blocks across so that's how far the little indent goes and then once you get ten across so take it one two three four five and six and then on the sixth block you'll do a, a corner so you'll do a turn so six blocks and then from right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve blocks out. That'll put you like right on top of the wool. And then from this corner, one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks of stone. And you just fill all that in. 
and uh, right here I don't know if you guys can see but the grass work on top there that's what this is so um, it's pretty easy to see the dimensions of this hole there's two blocks on either side and there's only one block here so it's you know you don't need any counting or anything and then it just goes to the end of the pillar right there so no counting required and um, so for this little part right here um, you're gonna come up by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Now on the 14th block, you'll do like a, a turn thing again, and then go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And that'll take you into this pillar right here, which obviously continues out to there. So theoretically, if you just follow along with the first part, how I counted around the side like this, and then went to here, and then just went and counted to right here, you could have just continued straight through like that and finished that up. So, now that we have that piece of stone work done, I'll go ahead and continue the rest of the stone and the steps, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so the last step for like the major exterior stone step is uh, pretty quick and easy. So this should be, you know, a breeze. So anyways, so from this pillar right here, what we're going to do is, on the inside, we're going to come up 1, 2, and 3. And then from the, from the third block right there, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and that is it. So it's three from the bottom and two away from the top. And then now we're just gonna take this out and we're just gonna line it up with this side right here. So then just take this in like that and it just goes into the pillar right there. And then we'll take this out and then also we'll just line that up with the pillar right here. And once we do that, it will be, be okay. So you'll put another layer of stone just like this, Oop, my bad. And then, that's wrong. Okay guys, discovered the problem. My dumbass thought that it'd be a good idea to do all these steps wrong, but don't worry, it's not, it's not a major mistake. So everything we've done right now, bring it up by one block, that's it. So all this stuff, raise it up by one block. So what I mean by that is, instead of this pillar being right here, it goes up one block so then you do this like that and then this bottom row would go away so that that's one more block up and then you just you know continue filling up the top of these pillars just like that and oop. and then as you're doing that taking out like the, the bottom row like this and that will bring it up by one block so yeah this is my bad um yeah Oh well, I'm human, I make mistakes, what what can I do about it, you know? But yeah, so, I'll go ahead and show you guys, I'll help you guys, like, help you out with the stone, because, like, it might be, it's, it's just the same thing, you know, just, like, all the stone area, just cover it by stone, and then delete the bottom part. So, just like this, just literally just fill all the stone up, so it looks like two layers of, of stone, and then once you get this done, um... So let's just say I, I filled in all the stone. You're just gonna go in and just delete all the bottom part of the stone, just like this. So yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. It's not that bad of a mistake, so no need to worry, guys. It's just a simple, like, a simple fix, really. Um, maybe not for survival, but, uh, but yeah, so if you, if you have dedication, it's a simple fix. And for here, obviously, it's still the same thing. You'll just fill in the top and then just delete the bottom like that. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of this, and I will be right back in three, two, one. Okay guys, so I got this stone finished, or uh, well, technically I raised everything up by one block, like I, I just uh, explained to you guys. So now back to that last uh, exterior stone work that we were gonna do. Let's do this correctly this time, shall we? So once again, you're gonna come three blocks up, so one, two, and three, and then go one, two, three, four, five, and six, and that is two away from the top. Now we're going to line it up with this pillar again, just like that, and on the bottom one, line it up just like that, right there. Alright, and then now once you line this up, take this up by one more block, just like that, and then bring this out, including this one right here, this, this block, so take it out by two, so that way it's three blocks, and then do the same thing over here, so one, two, well, one, two, and three and fill that in and there we go this will be our window i don't know if you guys can see that over there that that window right there so yeah 
Now that we have this, we'll fill in the window later. That's the last bit of the uh, the stone exterior work. So now we can go ahead and work on the like the diorite and stuff, which I can't get over how, how much better that looks. I don't know about you guys, but that looks a lot better. So yeah, we'll go ahead and start with um, pretty much the rest of the house. The rest of the whole damn house is made out of freaking diorite and uh, stone. So yeah, we'll stone on the interior. So anyways, I'll go ahead and be right back with the new diorite step. All right, guys, don't worry. I didn't mess up. I just forgot a really simple step. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one more thing of stone and it's super simple. So come on this side over here and then from the beginning of the stone, count one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven blocks. And then on the eighth block, you're gonna take it all the way down to the ground. So bring this all the way down, just like that. And continue this out starting on this one one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so right here it will also come down why is that like that all right so take this down to the ground on the tenth block and then now you're just gonna fill this whole thing in just like this all right so now that we have that now we can go ahead and continue on to the diorite so I'll be right back with the first step of diorite. All right guys, so here we are with the first step of diorite. So to start this, we're gonna go one in from the edge of the stone right here and go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, just like that, and take it down by five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're just gonna go ahead and make this like a big like square for now, just like this. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and fill it in all the way to counting from this block here so one two three four five six seven and eight and then we'll go ahead and fill this in right here just like that and that will come in one more block whoops and then from there we will take that down connect it and then we'll do the same on this side we'll take this in by eight so just line it up with this and once you line that up, take it up to the top here and then connect it back to the diorite. All right, so now once we have this like rectangular, like square prism, I don't know. Yeah, we'll skip one block. So just count one block and then go one, two, and three. And then take this all the way out, just nice and solid, no holes or anything. Take this all the way out. And we're gonna line it up with this diorite here. So forget that block. And then do the same thing on this side. So once again, skip a block, just like that. Take it down, so it's three. And then just bring this all the way out to the end of the diorite, just like that. And then there we go. So that's that. We can go ahead and actually just fill this in. So this wall is blank, just like so. Boom, there we go. And then this wall, we'll go ahead and fill it in and then we'll cut out the windows. So I don't know if you guys remember, but there's like um, like little one block, one by three, like slit windows. So here, all right, there we go. All right, so now what you wanna do is cut out a window just like that and then skip one block on either side. And then there we go, just like that. And that will make the front facing windows and on the side over there, as you can see, there's two blocks and that's where the windows start. So there's one, two, do the same thing here, do one more, and then do one more just like that. So now that we have this done, we can go ahead and continue on to the next diorite step, which will be this little front section of the house right here. So I'll go ahead and get that done for you guys, and then I'll show it to you. All right guys, really quick before we get into the next step, we're gonna take the stone and bring it down right here behind the, uh, the diorite. So take this down just like that, bring it out by one on the left side there and then take it out by two on this side so in total it's like four wide and all right so yeah it should look something like that right there all right now i'll go ahead and finish the next diorite step and i'll be right back all right guys so here we are with the next diorite step so first thing you want to do is get your diorite and come over here right to that uh, stone thing we just built and right up against the stone ceiling take it out by one two and bring over one two and three so you have a little thing like that it's kind of like a backwards L if you look at it from like this way and then what you want to do is jump one block and then go one two three four five and six right and take it down by one two three four and five 
and then skip one block so yeah and then put that just like that and then you're gonna want to take this out literally all the way across and what's gonna happen is from this diorite we are going to fill in like on this level right here we're going to fill in everything like to corner to corner except for uh like to right here we'll stop we'll probably we'll stop right about uh right about here-ish on this corner but uh yeah so pretty much you just want to fill like even in here like the whole entire roof this is all diorite and then the roof of like 90 percent of the house is just the, this level of diorite so like right here this all comes out just like that so you'll be on this level and you'd walk in so you see how it's kind of coming together so <clears throat> anyways you take this out and that's actually yeah so in front of that <gasps> no that bothers the hell out of me i'll fix it in a second all right anyways so once you have this down here you're gonna expand it just like this all the way down to here so it would look like this if you took it all the way to the white concrete pillar so let me finish this up real quick and there we go okay all right and then this also right here would just go straight down all the way to this okay i'm bad at this wow all right and then also you're gonna take this around just like this down to right here and then go ahead and fill this in with the rest of the diorite so pretty much what you're gonna do take this like from that wall all the way to right here fill the whole entire ceiling in with diorite because literally the entire ceiling is diorite over there and then all the way down the middle here is also all diorite so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the areas of the ceiling that are diorite and then I'll show you guys in just a second alright guys so here I've done a few small things so as you can see I filled in literally the entire roof with the diorite except for this hole right here and if you guys remember that was that skylight up on the top if I can get up here bam that glass up there yeah so that's what is the uh, the cutout in the roof right here that's the skylight you can see it's in the exact same spot so what it is is if I can get down here all right so this uh, the stone structure that we built right here so on this line counting from this line one two three and four is where it starts right and so on this fourth block on the fifth block is where the window starts or the skylight and it's one two three wide and then also it is one or one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven long so then that'll leave you once it stops right here that'll leave you two blocks away from this from this uh white concrete pillar pillar yeah the white concrete pillar yeah that thing right there the pillar so anyways the next thing i did after i filled that in left that hole was this right here so if you guys remember the stone on the roof how there's one two three four on this side and one on this side so these four right here if you come underneath them directly underneath them just bring them straight down so i literally can break a hole right here see so they go straight down through the diorite those four so one two three and four and then add an extra one that goes down with it and that will be the uh like the back wall and the patio right there and then the diorite uh, comes all the way out to one block onto the uh, this last like white concrete pillar. And once you get to there, that's when it starts coming across. And then, so it's two blocks out from these uh, stone guys right here. And then it comes underneath here. And then it comes out by one, two, and three, right? So here's a, uh, here's a reference. This is what we have done so far. There's the, uh, the big uh, stone thing right there. So it comes up by one, two, and three, and then it comes down from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That's where it stops. And this leads all the way into the roof, obviously. So what we're gonna do now is, 
we're gonna go ahead and make the balcony really quick and the um like the front part of the floor like the it's kind of hard to explain um why are there bats in here i mean i know it's dark but like get out sorry i don't like hurting animals but kind of annoying to be honest if you're just freaking squeaking in my ear like that anyways so balcony here we go so balcony's gonna be on the same height as this right here this base diorite so take it out by two and then bring it over to there and you're done uh well you can go ahead and just fill this in like this just you know to provide some some support i guess um and then also uh right along here we're gonna take this out just like this all the way to there and then bring it down by one and that is the the front part of the uh i guess that like i said the floor you know like here it'll um it's kind of confusing like here it's it's better if i show you from uh from here so as you're walking in obviously the okay so the floor is on that level but walking in that's the front of the floor do you get what i'm saying because the floor comes out and then goes down and then And then you realize you did it wrong don't worry guys it's okay it's not a big deal so what we did we had it right here obviously so literally just take that off and move it back one block that's that's all you need to do to fix it so no worries guys it's okay we're not on fire be all right It's not live, not live streaming. Oh, yeah, I mean, like, are we, are we on, are we on air? On air? We are on the air. All right. <clears throat> what do you guys think I should do next? Do well, if I'm being honest, all right. Why are you turn the fan on? I was gonna, the mic's gonna pick up the fan. Oh, sorry. I like dragons. All right. What do you, what do you think I should do next? Joey. What am I supposed to do next? build some walls that's what i'm doing yeah you probably should do that glass what joey get him out of our house joey i said joey. i want all right this is monetized? yeah i can say that jo joey jo oh my get out Get out right now. Get Party's him out. over. Get him out. I don't want him to be in there. Get him out. Get out. Joey, get him out. Get out. Yes. Oh my goodness, Joey. He's breaking doors. There he's out of the house. Alright, come back inside. No. Alright, I'll see you later. Stay cool. Up. Oh, I'm Ryan Karen. What's up, guys? We're back. You know, we had to go get our jewel pods. You know, we're just hanging around, playing some Minecraft again. And what? Joey what is that? What is Joey? What is that? <laughs> what? What are those? Joey, why are those? That's are a, those llamas? That's a donkey. Except the textures are messed up. Joey, I don't know what kind of hacky stuff you're doing. But Okay, guys. So, since my uh, my two um, brothers are here, um, it's gonna be kind of hard to like directly tell you guys the steps. So, from this point on, and for the rest of the video, um, I'm gonna like occasionally decipher like what I'm doing, so you guys can clearly understand it. But it's gonna it's about to turn more into a let's build. So you guys will just follow along like by watching with what I'm doing and <clears throat> it's going to take a weird turn. This is about to turn more into like a podcast slash let's build because me and my friends are just going to be talking and I'm going to go back and forth just copying the house over. So while I'm doing that, we're just going to talk and I don't know, we're mixing it up. I don't know how it's going to go, but. I get you'll get to see what I do behind the scenes of all the jump cuts and stuff in the video 
and you'll get to hear us talk about random subjects. Yay. Yeah. Yay. All right. So, yeah. We're going to talk. Is that it? I just explained all that for nothing. Well, I just, I'm just, I'm just chilling right now, bro. I just, I got my munchies, got my monster, and stay at night at Joe Nettig's house. Yeah. So, so you're building this house. Why does it have grass on top? It's, it's like garden effect. It's like, I really should have put a way to get on top of the house. So that way, um, you can actually like, walk up there. I thought you were going to talk about your girl problems. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> so this girl I was trying to talk to, we like, we hung out once and I thought it was going to be a good time. We had a good time. At her house, we cuddled and stuff, but like, then I was supposed to take her on a date, like, the next day, and she, like, cut me off, and I was like, I went to my feels a little bit, and I just, I wrote some bars down, <laughs> like, to, to cope with my, <coughs> to cope with my feelings. To cope with my feelings. Just... It was, it was just a tough time for me, and now, now it's just like, I'm in high school, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I need to do to thrive <laughs> throughout my high school life. Yeah. And, what, like, this is just a message for you all. Girls, they come and go. Yeah, but that's kind of true. Brothers? Forever, man. Some come and go, but some some are forever. Some if some you don't come and go. if you don't get rid of the wrong people, you'll never meet the right ones. Exactly. That that is good. That is that's, that's exactly right. Yep. Like yuppers. I dropped yupperoni. I dropped one of my one of my closest friends about like two weeks ago, and I really I I felt like it was right in the moment. But after that, like a couple, after a couple weeks, I, I just, I knew that we both needed each other in our, in our lives. So we just, I forgave him. Just, all right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you guys exactly what happened that day. I remember this. Because, uh. all right, so this is what happened. We were at the beach. This is, this is, this is what you guys should think about with, with the girls come and go message. Alright, so we're at the beach. My friend really likes this girl. And she was at the beach too. I quit football. So my friend thought it would be a good idea to just be like, Hey, <laughs> Ryan. Since you quit football, I think, I think I can cover you. I used to play receiver. <coughs> I used to play wide receiver. So... I was like, okay, so I grabbed the football, you know, I, I'm always prepared, I, always, I have football in my trunk, grab the football out of my trunk, and my, my boy Deshaun, who's my quarterback at the time, Tom Brady said. so, so I was like, okay, Deshaun, throw me a ball, I'm gonna run a route, I run, I run the comeback route, because you know, that that's my special route, that's my specialty, mm -hmm. and so I run, the, I run the comeback, we're in the sand, because we're at the beach, I fall, and I catch the ball as I'm falling. So he didn't really, he wasn't really able to cover me. So he got, he got upset, you know. So he was sitting at the, he was sitting at the, the picnic table at the beach, and I was like, I was like, okay, I didn't know he was upset. So I go up to him. There's music playing. I start singing to him. Put my hands on his shoulders, and he goes, "Get your hands off me!" And I was like, okay, maybe he's just joking. Maybe he's, maybe he's just joking around. So, I was like, alright, so, I'm gonna do it again. So, I put my hands on his shoulders, start singing to him again, and he didn't like that. He said, he said, you better get your hands off me before I, before I beat you, before I beat you. 
beat you up. Or beat you. <laughs> so, so I was Is like, that what he said? Yeah. So I was like, so I was like, okay, all right. So he's not joking. So me and me and my other friend walk away, and I'm talking to her about it. I was like, so my friend, Lovey, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it out there. He, okay. I told her that he said he was gonna beat me up if I kept messing with him. So. Uh -huh. After all of this happened, we 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 leave the beach. You know, it's it's getting late. We leave, and he sends me he sends me a snap of him just flipping me off, and I'm like, okay, dude, why? And he says, Ryan, you're such an asshole. All you ever do is show off, and that's why no one likes you. And I thought at the time I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna take it to the group chat that all my friends are in. And maybe, maybe they'll maybe they'll calm him down because I don't I don't really want to have to deal with that. So I took it to the group chat, and all they did was laugh. So I dropped every single one of them in the group chat. And about a week about a week later, I realized I was like, okay, Ryan, you're dumb. You don't you don't just drop all of your friends because they laugh. So I apologized to the ones that were just laughing in the group chat and admitted that I was wrong. So we became friends again, and then about- He's shaking the microphone. About two weeks later, <clears throat> I just, I got this message. I went to church, I got this message from God saying how you should forgive. And that really made me think. So I, I forgave, I decided I was gonna forgive him. So I made a group chat with him and and one other friend and I was like okay dude I'm gonna forgive you you don't have to feel like you're wrong for anything so so he he said he said okay man I forgive you too and I was thinking give me for what dude but I didn't say that to him because I, I felt like I should just keep it at there and be the bigger person so after that you know we're we're, we're friends again, but we haven't really like talked in the past couple past couple of weeks. So I think I think you should always just if you think about it, who are you gonna have longer, your friend or your girl? At yeah, the, at the most point, <clears throat> you're in high school. You probably have your friend. So. That's just a message for you guys that I just wanted to share because girls girls are not the move I mean sometimes sometimes it's the move sometimes you can have fun you know have your girl over hang out with your friends and your girl but you just gotta find the right one for you and if she's not the right one then you just have to understand like me personally I don't really like share my feelings a lot. Neither do I. And so. Ah, oh, cause I'm a robot. Ah ha ha! I sound like a robot. Ah, oh, I'm so boring. It's robot. And so, when I do share my feelings, it's kind of deep to me. And like I'm, I'm the one. Per I'm one person to always be truthful and straight up with somebody. Even if it's too much at sometimes. Even yeah, even if it's too much and people pe You're freaking people, the microphone. <laughs> sometimes people just don't like that at all. And they're just gonna have to understand that that's who you are. And they're just gonna have to learn to love it. Because I'm not one to change for people. Because I feel like I am who I am and this is who I need to be in life. So, like, in high school, <clears throat> people just think, like, all they want to do is hear what they need to hear. But really, yeah. I'm the one to tell them what they're not going to want to like to hear. And honestly, I feel good about it, but most people just think... They sugarcoat it. Yeah. They tell people, you what you want to hear. Exactly. Most people tell you what you want to hear, and I'm... 
Yeah. If I'm getting told what I want to hear, I I won't accept it because that's not. I want to hear your point of view and how you feel about the topic that I'm talking about. Because if I feel that, I feel more like it's helping me more than anything. Because if if you tell me what I want to hear, then it's like okay, I'm not going to be able to fix the problem or I'm not going to be able to change the situation or anything because you're just telling me that. Yeah. And I sometimes you just got to hear critical opinions based on what is happening. Yeah. And so I just feel like I'm not telling everybody to just be like me. Sometimes it's good to tell people what they want to hear. Like, if they're depressed you can help them out a lot by telling them what you should tell them yeah telling them what you should tell them to make them happier in life but now i'm just i'm not really focused on girls or anything i'm just i'm just living my life and if a girl decides that she wants to be in my life then sure i'll accept it and also, uh oh, girls, like in high school, most people lo- are looking for like, oh, the hottest girl or something. But honestly, if your personality is way better than your looks, I'm gonna, you're gonna win. I'm, I'm gonna love that for it. I'm gonna love that about you because that's what I like. I, I like someone that I can talk to. Oh, a Drake quote. Oh. Alright, so... If I can talk to you and express my feelings and you can express yours and you don't really, like, annoy me, then then I feel like that's going to be a good relationship. But if... Alright. So... (laughs) I'm going to be real with you guys again. I dated this girl... So we were dating and I was like, okay, this, she's she's a good girl, she's a good girl, she's she's kind of shy, but maybe I can get her out of her comfort zone, you know, and get her open up a little bit, but like... Fill that in right there. So we we dated, went, <laughs> went, for, went for about three weeks, Yeah. and finally she just said the dumbest stuff <laughs> that I have ever heard and whenever she would say this dumb stuff all right we're doing these whenever she would say this dumb stuff I I kid you not that everybody would stare at me and like just act like I should stop her from saying that or something so so we, we went to a football game. This was like my second <laughs> football game that I went to. Uh, and she showed up late. Didn't didn't even stand beside me, first of all. Because, you know, it's kind of weird, right? No, shouldn't be weird. You're my girlfriend. So we start leaving. We go, you know, we go, we go get some food after. And we're walking to the car. And she goes, it was blackout night. So I had black black paint all over my body. She uh-huh. asked me what I had on my body. And of course, you know, me just being a smart aleck, I'm like, oh, oh, it's just it's just this and that. And I said something dumb. But, you know, I was being a smart aleck. Everybody knew I was joking. But we get to Whataburger and I I go to, I get my, <laughs> I get, I get my, get my little number. I go to sit down at the table. And she goes, are we sitting here? And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Cause I'm, I'm, I'm already like, like declining my butt into the seat to sit Decl- down. And she says that and I'm like, okay, what do you mean? And she goes, well, I didn't know if you were just like looking at the table to see if it was dirty or anything, but I just, yeah, we can sit here. And I'm like, 
because I work at Whataburger and I'm, I'm supposed to be the one seeing if the table's dirty see if, so I can clean it or whatever. So that was, that's, that's Interjection. Two, that's, you could have just been making a point that you didn't want to set a dirty table. Interjection. That is two dumb things that she said one night. And then, and then I confront her about what she said that was dumb because all of my friends were staring at me like, why did she say that? And I'm like, Okay, so I asked, like, this is what happened. We were sitting there, and I go, why did you say those dumb things? And she said, "Yeah." well, first of all, <clears throat> the black paint could have been baby powder. <laughs> what? I, I don't know about you guys, but I've never heard of, like, black baby powder. If that exists, I'm going to feel bad because I've never heard of that. So... I was like, okay, all right, all right. That was just, that was, just, that was dumb. Okay, so I'll give her that. And and then and then, yeah. Like, I was like, I was just thinking. I was thinking, and I was getting so mad that she said that, and all my friends heard it, and I was like, <sighs> so we're leaving. We're coming back to Joe Netic's house. Yep. And the party house. Yep. The party house, gang gang. So <laughs> so we're leaving. And she knows I'm mad, so she calls me, and yeah. she goes, Ryan, are we okay? And I said, I don't know. So, I was like, I was like, okay, alright. So, then, she wanted me to, like, talk to her, and I was like, alright, so I, so I started talking to her, and I was like, okay, alright. So... This is this is what happened. I was driving. When I get mad, oh, I drive so fast. Oh, I, get, uh, I, I drive get, so fast when I, I get, get mad. Pulled over. My license is gone. But here we go. So I'm like, I'm doing like a hundred and a forty-five. Oh. And all right. I'm on the phone with her, and she she just every time I have to stop at a stoplight, she hears my engine. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I drive a Toyota Corolla. And it doesn't exactly. Sound <laughs> I drive like a Toyota Corolla, and it sounds like. <laughs> doesn't exactly sound like that yet. I'm gonna get some upgrades, guys. But I'll I'll talk to you guys about that later. So I'm driving, and she she is crying while I'm driving, and I'm like, all right. So I think I need to deal with this. So I slow down, slow down to a normal speed, and. That's when I decided to tell her, I know I'm a bad guy for this, that she was annoying. Nine times out of ten, what is a girl going to do if you say she is annoying? Get mad. They're gonna get or mad. cry. Or cry. Exactly. So, she's crying over the phone, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm on the way to Joey's house, and she's like, so, so, uh, do, you, do you not want me to go to Joey's? And I'm like, I mean, no. So, I get to Joey's house, and she's like, can I, can I, can I at least come over and we can talk this out? And I'm like, I don't think it's a good idea, because I didn't want to, I didn't want to bring all that commotion to Joey's house. So, you know, I'm, I feel bad for this, but I had to, I had to do it over the phone. So I break up with her, and my thing that I hate when I break up with a girl is the crying and them comparing you to their ex. They love doing that to make you feel bad because they're like, "You're just like my ex-boyfriend. Yeah. He broke up with me too." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, they're they're making it seem like you're the worst person in the world for just breaking up with him, but. I wanted to do it at that point because it had, home, it had only been like three three weeks. We could still be friends after, I thought. But, so I do it, and I walk into Joey's house, and everyone was like, Hey, yo, what's up, Ryan, bro, what's up? I wasn't even there yet. Yeah, Joey wasn't even there. I wasn't even there either. Yeah, everyone yeah. was just at my house without me being there. Yeah, and I walk in, and everybody's like, <laughs> what's up, Ryan, what's up? And I was like, I'm single. And they're like, <laughs> What? I'm single. And I'm like, 
yep, I had to do it. And they're all freaking out on me, like, Ryan, what the heck? She was such a good girl and everything. She was so hot. And I was like, dude, I, our personalities did not mix. Because, so you see, people think I'm an a hole. But, Here we go. Like bitch, like a bitch hole. But, I don't think I am. I think, I think, honestly, if people could take, like, if people could actually take the truth every now and then, Ryan would just be a regular person. But no, 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 no. So that happens. And this other girl hits me up saying, Oh, Ryan, wow, you're so mean to girls and everything. You told her she was annoying and everything. And I was like, Why are you talking to me? Like, I don't need to hear yeah. anything that you have to say. <clears throat> so I hold down her name on the snap, swipe, hit settings. And block that girl. Because I wasn't dealing with it. So I blocked her. I have blocked so many people senior year than I have at any point in my I life. never really blocked anyone on Snapchat, if I had to be honest. I've only blocked like two people. Well, I do what I need to do. <laughs> so I don't have to hear anybody talk bad about me. So I'm, I'm just getting rid of that negativity in my life. I don't need that. I don't... I don't really need that because that's just that's just not something. Is that negativity? That's just gonna make you mad or sad. And what do you do when you're mad or sad? You make dumb decisions. Yeah. yeah exactly. So I make do, I make dumb decisions like without being mad or sad. But like, yeah, welcome, mad, welcome to the club. When I get mad <laughs> or sad, the dumb decisions just amp up to a whole like a whole new level, like 100%, dude. So, I try to steer clear of being mad or sad. When I'm sad, I kind of just... I, 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 when I'm sad... When I'm sad... I just... I just think too much about things. You overthink. Yes, I overthink. Yeah. And it just turns into a big, fat problem. Alright, hold that thought. What? I'll open the window and it's gonna get freezing in here. Just watch. I will open the window. Why? Because it's nice. Forget about, forget about the window. No, never forget about the window. Okay. Always keep it open. Well, now I'm gonna tell you guys about the whip. I'm gonna tell you guys about the whip. My Toyota Corolla 2015 LE edition. Four cylinder, 1.8 liter. Black. It's black. Alabama floor mats. Alabama floor mats. Jewel charger. Jewel charger. <laughs> and the charging Bumping uh, speakers. Bumping speakers. Yeah, the stock bumping. The stock bumping speakers. My car is so fast. So yeah, yeah. So I plan on doing all of these things to my car. Let me just let me let me pull up my search history. Let me just, whoa, whoa. What? We're just gonna act like that wasn't in my search history, and we're just gonna go on to the stuff that I'm gonna buy for my vehicle. We wanna hurry up because I'm pretty much done with this part of the video. Aye, aye, Captain. So I plan on getting a $950 body kit. It's the Z type right. body kit. All right. And I plan on getting a cold air intake. You know, amp up the horsepower a little bit. Yeah. I plan on getting some black. Black lining with chrome rims. Some niggas. And I plan on getting I plan on getting a Borla exhaust system for my car. But you know the bad thing? I can't touch the catalytic converter. Because I haven't paid the car off yet. So it's just sad. You know, I'm already I'm gonna get some halos, because you know Halo who, headlights, yeah. Who doesn't like halos? can't touch the catalytic converter because I signed a contract with the main with the with the company that I bought it from mm -hmm. and I can't touch it until I pay it off. Well that's homosexual. Wow. Unless you got like nothing against homosexuals or anything like that's wrong or anything. Like that's just homosexual, you know what I mean? So yeah, <laughs> by not being able to touch the catalytic <clears throat> converter, I can't ah. really touch anything but the but the exhaust tip and the muffler. So Let's just let's just hope my car sounds I have good. Some of these. 
Go for it. Yes. Go let's for just, it. Let's just hope my car sounds good. It's gonna be fast. You know, we have this car meet that I've, I've started trying to get together. Me and Joey have started trying to do it. Yeah. So every Saturday at 12 a.m. Midnight. You know, so technically midnight or 12 a.m. on Sunday. Yes. 12 a.m. Sunday. Every. Could that be any louder? Every All right. Saturday, All every right. Sunday, 12 a.m., uh, we've decided that we're just going to try to get a group together, have a car meet, you know. Maybe it'll turn into something big. Right now, this weekend, it was just me and Joey at it. <laughs> but yeah. we're working on getting people there. And hopefully that, that turns into something good. And then, of course, my car's stock, so it's a little upsetting to see my car next to everyone else's because... No one else has a four cylinder like me, which makes me special. Even though I still, still, yeah. still run it up on the track. My car also has sport mode, <laughs> so that changes the four cylinder to a V eight. Yep. So I get all that horsepower connected into one. Yeah. So, yeah, we decided that we're gonna do that, and we're just gonna see how that turns out. It turns out good awesome if it doesn't turn out good well, not awesome awesome but let's just let's, let's see how that turns out and let me just let me just tell you this other let me just, let me just tell you about some other things in my life alright okay I gotta I gotta talk for a second cause I'm literally like I'm already done I'm just doing extra stuff Okay. So, I don't know if you guys have been following along, but so pretty much this is all that we got done. Um, it's not that much. The grass is all easy and stuff. So, this is actually going to like end it because uh, I'm splitting this into two parts because as of right now, it's what, what, Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11 p.m. Yeah, so it's like. Pretty much midnight and i still have deshaun how many questions are on the marine bio thing yeah yeah exactly it's that we literally i uh, it's probably over a hundred questions and it's due tomorrow probably as a a Here, test grade i'm high kid baiting just going to bed and doing it like we, me and you have gone to be at class till 9 30. so we can leave we don't have to be at class till 9 30. Wait, wait. So, wait. What are we doing? Wait, we don't we have, have to. Senior, like, stuff. I know that, but like, what? Um. So we don't have to be at school till nine thirty. That's when it starts. Dude, we don't have first period, so. We don't have first period. We're in Marine Bio. And we're meeting at the thing. Oh well, yeah, there's a there's a senior meeting. No, I know about the senior thing. So. It's mandatory, I think. But okay, Marine Bio lasts for first and second period. I know. Okay, so school starts like 9 15. I know that. I'm saying, like, unlike everyone else, we don't have a class at the school. So we don't have, like, we're not meeting anywhere, I don't think. Okay, I don't so know. then what? Then why do we have an assignment due tomorrow if we're not meeting anywhere? She, I don't know. I think she's taking up at school. Either that or we meet Miss McCollum. So do we, okay, so I'm guessing, do we just stop by Miss McCollum's room, give her the paper, and then leave? I have no fucking idea. I, I don't under, what? I think we'll wake up that won't be enough time. <laughs> you see how many questions there was on there? That won't be enough time? No. It'll take hours. I really don't want to do it right now. But we, we don't really have a choice. You better bring that desk out. Uh, I have to find it. I think it's in the garage. Okay, anyways. I'm extending this too much. Um, So this pretty much ends the first part. I'm going to do... um. As you guys can see, there's like all the, the tree and the glass and the, you know, the pool in the backyard and stuff. All that um, can be done in like the next episode. I'm going to do like the whole inside. As you can see, it's all, everything's all fenced in inside the house now. So it's pretty much a matter of just building the floor and then building the inside walls up to the ceiling and then putting in the second floor. And then 
I won't furnish it. Um, I'll leave it empty because the um, the furnishing is really easy. I'll like I'll do some furnishing, but uh, like I'll do the complicated kind of furnishing. Like, look, I'll show you. Um, so like stuff like uh, hmm, stuff like this, like the living room. I'll do that because like I did like a glowstone thing there, and then um, the kitchen. I'll do that because I did a a chest thing there. Um, stuff like this I won't furnish because this is just really self-explanatory like literally any of y'all that play this game can look at that and just copy it and I'll probably I'll furnish this too like I'll show you guys how to do this with the the water thing and the glowstone and all that but um and then uh yeah that's pretty much pretty much it like I might do like this room but yeah so I'll I'll do like all the inside all these inside walls and stuff in the next episode um but yeah, so in the next episode, we'll probably be out tomorrow because I believe I'm off work tomorrow. I actually had work today, but I called out so I could do this and also I'll be back. get my homework. What? I'll be back. Where are you going? I'm coming tomorrow. Huh? I'm coming tomorrow after school. So. Okay, Ryan's going to be here tomorrow after school so you can podcast slash, yeah, just commentate on the next episode. So, um, yeah. Anyways... I believe I don't have work tomorrow, but I called off work today so I could um, hang out with a few friends, do this, and get my homework done. Uh, because if I was if I was at work tonight, I would probably be getting off like right now. And as you can see, 11:40 would not be enough time to get it up by today. And it's even I I've had a struggle. I started this like hours ago, and I've had a struggle with doing this and just getting it up today. Because I woke up at like noon, and then did all the stuff that I did today I had to do some homework and then I went and got gas and then I called my work called out and then I went to Walmart and then yeah it's I'm a regular person so I also do stuff I don't believe me I don't just sit in my house all day every day there I usually have something to do like 24 7 but yeah so anyways that pretty much concludes it for this episode and I don't know why I said episode for this part um the next part should be up tomorrow. If I'm if I'm correct about me not having work tomorrow, then the next part should be up tomorrow. So I don't want to make it too big of a gap between the first part and the second part because y'all can't really finish the house unless I upload the second part. So I'm going to literally do everything in my power to get it up tomorrow. Um, if I have work, then it won't be up tomorrow. It'll be up the next day because I never have work two days consecutively except for the weekends. Anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here. Um, do you guys have anything to say? Jesus is good, guys. Stay in church and find your, your path to Christ. Girls come and go. Boys are forever. Well, not just boys. Brothers with a brothers. V. With a V. You gotta have your brotherhood small. If it's large, that's also good. You just gotta hope. Stay sexually active, yeah. Stay sexually active, guys. Yeah. Uh, Shout out Maddie Smokes, bro. That's my dog. Yeah. If you don't, that dude. If you don't stay sexually active, you're gonna have a problem with your body later on in life. I heard this from a wise man. His, his name's Uncle Tyler. It's my uncle, and he tells me a lot. He's, he's like a father figure to me because I don't really have a father. But you guys okay. have a good. Name. All right. All right. Okay. Anyways, I'm ending it here. Um, if you guys liked it, let me know in whatever way, shape, or form you see fit. If you liked it so much that you just don't even want to watch me anymore, then go ahead and unsubscribe. I'll understand. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.